Hello everyone, welcome back to another Mathematics and GIS lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to continue our discussion on map projections. And if you remember back to our previous videos, we talked about the sort of categories of map projections, where they were defined by the shape of the developable surface, which we called class, whether they were defined by the number of times that the developable surface interacted with the reference globe, which we called case, and it was tangent if it interacted once, or secant if it interacted twice. And then lastly, we left off with the idea of aspect, which controlled what angle we rotated that developable surface, whether it was the normal aspect, which is the um, standard lines were in conjunction with parallels, whether it was the transverse aspect where we rotated at 90 degrees so that the standard lines mirrored meridians, or whether it was somewhere in between, which we called the oblique aspect. And so the reason all of this is important is because all of this boils down to this idea of distortion. Right, distortion. And when we talk about map projections, right, we've already sort of saw this, especially when we were talking about case with the idea of the standard lines, is that no matter what we do, no matter what kind of math tricks we perform, there will always be some sort of distortion. Right? We saw that with the standard lines, where as you move outside of a secant case, you exaggerate distortion, which means things are going to be bigger than they appear on the reference map or the reference globe. If you are in between the standard lines of a secant, of a secant case, they were going to be, the distortion was going to be smaller, right? Things were going to be smaller than what we saw in the reference globe. And we said that that's called distortion. And so what we can do with the mathematics of map projection is we can pick different types of distortion. And what I want to do in this video is I want to walk through the different types of distortion that we can account for. And keep in mind the fact that you will never be able to do anything perfectly. So you can sort of pick one or two to minimize at the expense of the others. Okay. So if you think about real life and the real world, right there, there are really four things that we can concern ourselves with. The first is area. The second is shape slash angles. The third is what's called direction. And the fourth is distance. And what I want you to be aware of is that these are the four sort of types of distortion that map projections deal with, right? You can distort area, you can distort shape or make angles not match. You can preserve or distort direction. So north doesn't necessarily mean north. Or you can distort distance, meaning that the measurement between two points that you would measure on a 2D Cartesian map, right, using Euclidean distance, will be different than if you were to measure the arc length, right, using the measure of the angle in radians times the radius of the circle. Right, those two things won't match. Alternatively, right, we can use math to make a projection that actually preserves distance, so that the distance in arc length matches the distance in Euclidean distance on the 2D surface. But if you do that, right, if you keep distance, then you might sacrifice something like shape, right? If the things are the same, if you, if you keep distances the same, right, you might have to change the angles or to change the shape. So you can see that there's this sort of trade-off here between these four types of distortion. And again, right, the only place where you have no distortion is at the standard lines. So picking the type of distortion that you care most about is going to determine what type of distortion you allow. And so what I want to do in this video is outline the types of distortion that we have, so these four, and I want to sort of give you some more terms. So if we try to maintain area, 
right? We call a projection that does that an equal area projection. Right, if we care most about area, we call that an equal area. If we care most about shapes or angles, we call this a conformal projection. If we care about distance, right, we call this an equidistant or an equal distant projection. And if we care about direction, we call this an azimuthal projection. All right, so in addition to the properties based on the shape, orientation, and the relationship between the reference globe and the developable surface, we also have we also have the type of distortion that we care about. So we could have, for example, a transverse cylindrical projection that touches the globe in two places, so it would be the secant case, that preserves area. We can also have a transverse projection in the secant case that preserves shape, right? We could have a tangent conic normal projection that preserves distance, right? So this right here, this is where the math comes into play most, most effectively because we're going to be rearranging the equations and adding and subtracting different trigonometric properties to, to, to be able to have an equation that satisfies whether or not we want to maintain area, shape, direction, or distance. Or if we want to sort of do the best to preserve two or three at the expense of maybe a different one. So hopefully this makes sense. I know this is a lot of terminology here, but in the next set of videos, we're going to go through the math behind these four types of distortions, and hopefully it will make more sense at that point. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.